Oh, hey there tiger. Now let's get this party started with the book of Genesis. Chapter 4, verses 1 to 16. And the man eventually screwed Eve's brains out. Fuck it her so hard the pubes were flying off her left and right, and shit, it never fails, she became with child and gave birth to Cain, and said, I have got a man from the Lord. It's not widely known that he was dropped on his head as a newborn. Then again she became with child and gave birth to Abel, his brother. Our in-house fact checkers are leaning towards Adam as the father. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, wink wink. That is to say those sheep never felt so alive, safe, and loved. Cain was a farmer but secretly longed to have his brother's sheeply bond. Now, after a time, Cain gave to the Lord in a super huge offering of the fruits of the earth. Really delicious stuff too. Among the offering were cucumbers, radishes, corn, carrots, celery, Brussels sprouts, eggplant, watermelon, grapes, apples and so on. And Abel gave an offering of the young lambs of his flock and of their fat. So young and so so tender was Abel's meat. Let's just say the Lord was pleased with Abel's offering. But in Cain and his offering he had no pleasure, thinking to himself that good old Cain was a full on retard. And Cain was angry and his face became sad. And the Lord said to Cain, your offering was God awful, like really the worst I've seen, but why are you angry? And why is your face sad? If you do well, will you not have honor? And if you do wrong, sin is waiting at the door, desiring to have you, but do not let it be your master. And Cain said to his brother, let us go into the field, and when they were in the field, Cain made an attack on his brother Abel and put him to death in cold cold blood. And, pretending like he didn't just let Abel into heaven three seconds ago, the Lord said to Cain, say, where's your loving brother Abel and his posse of seductive sheep? And he said, fucked if I know man, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the earth. And now you are cursed from the earth, whose mouth is open to take your brother's blood from your hand. No longer will the earth give you her fruit as the reward of your work, you will be a wanderer in flight over the earth. So good luck with that, you fruity fruit fucking faggot farmer. And Cain said, my punishment is greater than my strength. You have sent me out this day from the face of the earth and from before your face, I will be a wanderer in flight over the earth, and whoever sees me will put me to death. And the Lord said, truly, stop your whining, you big pussy. Look, if you are put to death, seven lives will be taken for years in return, which I think we can all agree is totally fair. But just in case I better put a mark on you so that no one might put you to death. I'm gonna need you on your knees for that part though. And. After gently wiping his index finger across his lips, Cain went away from before the face of the Lord, and made his living place in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. Just a real shithole of a place to live. Wow, that's cock bending good shit right there. Until next time hosers, if you liked the video hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single second of my android goodness and share me with your friends, but only the chill ones, okay buddy.